Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Super Hang On on the ZX Spectrum. And I was actually quite surprised I didn't have this. Now, I'll put first off, I'll put the cover on the screen. So, so there you go. Just some motorcycles from Electronic Dr Le Electric Dreams, it was. Um, but I was actually quite surprised I didn't have this. Um, it's one of those games that I thought I did. I played it on the the, the Mega Drive. I, I played it on the uh, Master System. It's not Super version, of course. Uh, on those, it's just the Hang On. But but I thought I had it on all of those. And it's basically a motorcycle game where you go across the country and there's various different stages. Um, this one we've loaded. This is the intermediate stage, I think, or advanced stage. I've loaded. I couldn't get the first stage load for some reason at all and um, but basically there are three different four sorry four different loads on the tape so the stage ones sort of easy there's the, the more difficult one the, 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 the intermediate there's this one which is um is is is, is beyond beginner sort of hard advanced and then there's ex the, the expert so so um without further ado though we're, we're going to give it a ride on the bike that is um let's press the fire button and let's go for it so this is the this is the longer course of them all um, when we get to a certain speed, we, we get a little super boost, but here it is. And it's nice to see them colouring the motorcycle, actually. I'd say, I thought I had this, but clearly I never did. Um, I must have played it on other things and just assumed I had it on the Spectrum. It's a, bit, it's a bit jerky with the frame rate, but it's not bad for what it is. This is kind of, for me, there was the alternative to, to OutRun without the changing of levels. The first time I saw this, however, um, in the flesh, to, so to speak, was actually in the arcade um, in, in a, a service station. Uh, you know, remember when, when they used to have them as arcade places instead of nowadays as... A sort of gambling dens where they all have over 18s and something you know and lots of uh, sort of gambling machines no arcade games anymore I kind of miss them um, but but um, yeah so so you be the first time I saw it was actually in one of those and it was one where you actually had the motorcycle where you could actually get onto the motorcycle and ride the motorcycle as if you you know sort of there the wasn't obviously a full motorcycle it was just like the seat in the area but you got on and you could lean left and right by sort of leaning left and right on the motorcycle itself it was really quite cool I quite enjoyed it actually if I'm honest it was it wasn't a bad game um, and as I say I was surprised I didn't have it on the Spectrum so I got this one recently um, went to went to one of my favourite uh, retro stores that I still go to at the moment which is uh, uh, Retro Cavern which is really good I'll put a link in the description below um, and I really enjoyed like, getting stuff from Retro Cavern they're very good prices not very ex they're not hugely expensive they're just they're just right if they if, they're, if, they're, if you go with that kind of thing um, and this is one of those games that I added to my collection as a result um, I'm doing all right, actually. I'm quite surprised I'm doing so well here. There's a way to do a turbo, though. When you get to a certain speed, you can do a turbo. I'm not sure. When I get to top speed, I can do a turbo. Or he turbos himself when he gets to top speed, maybe. I don't know. We're at it now, I think. Oh, we were. 300 and something odd kilometres an hour. That's about 200 miles an hour, actually, to be honest. I forgot to change the miles per hour, actually. Could have done that. Kilometers looks better though, because there's a much more impressive uh, uh, number on the whole thing. We're doing all right. It's a race against the time, not against the people, um, and we're we're just about to lose. There we go. First time round, we did, we lost. I wonder if we can change the settings on that. Do I get my name in? Oh, I do. Look at that. Let's get our name in. As I say, it, a, 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 a game worth owning, worth having, worth playing. Um, one of those kind of classics that came out from 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 um, Sega at the, that sort of time. It was one of those 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 sort of really good. I wonder if there's a way to change it. Attributes inks on. Oh right, there's the way to change the. Hang on, let's see if we, if we press A. If we say off, is it? Do you think it's just still grayscale? Let's have a look. Attribute inks on. Is it all monochrome now? I think it's going to be all monochrome now. Now that we've changed the, the things off. But yeah, one of those classics that came out from Sega at that, that, that sort of time in, you know, that when, when, when you had, um, yeah, look, it's turned them all off. Isn't that a shame? I know it's I know it's an option. I guess it may speed it up a little bit. I guess somebody realised you could, would run a little bit faster without those attributes on. Because it is actually a lot, lot faster without those on. A lot more playable without those on. But it kind of takes away from the, the the loveliness of the game, if that makes sense, the prettiness of it. But yeah, and the Sega had a, a lovely run of sort of um, uh, sort of road games, including obviously Outrun as well. At the same time, 
to be fair, this probably this one probably works better because of the fact it's basically stages that you select rather than or a, a, a set of stages that you select to race on in the first place. So it's not it probably it probably works better as a as a game after completely fail to complete that course there. I don't even know how far I was on that one. I haven't even got my name in the high score. If I press A, put that back on again. Medium sevens, yeah, not present. You can actually tell whether it's present or not. So this should put the attributes back on again. There you go. So we've got more colours. You see on the background, it's not just just not just the black and white. It's got all the colours. I quite like the colours though. I love to see a bit of. I love to see a bit of spectrum colour clash. That's what you need. A bit of spectrum colour clash. Oh, that's that, those bits. Those those lights are still the same. Oh, it's nice. There's nice graphics on the bike as well. It looks nice. Swinging in and out. Lean, keeping that lean on the bike. Oh, flicked it in there. I'm not going to finish this course this time round. Uh, that first go on it was the one that was the was the super go. I actually think this is worth having. If you've got a Spectrum, I think this is worth adding to your collection. It's a bit like Enduro Racer. Enduro Racer, I also think, is another one worth having. And I haven't done that on my channel. I really need to do that because Enduro Racer is quite, quite good fun. It's kind of, um, it's totally different to the ma Master System. is completely different to every other version of it. But Enduro Racer is sort of a similar sort of thing, but with dirt bikes and jumps. Can't really beat that, can you? Anyway, um, I've been your host, Real Generic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.